How's it going guys? I know a lot of you have been asking for a comparison of the HDM compared to the Shape Oco 4 or the Pro. Well today I'm going to show you a comparison against cuts I've made on a highly modified Shape Oco 3 with a linear rail on the X. I made this exact same part and here's the adaptive that I ran on the S3. 30,000 RPM, as you'll notice, that's pretty high. That's maximum RPM on the Makita. I'll turn all the way up to 11, 300 inches per minute. Also pretty, pretty high. And that's about what I'd found on the S3, the maximum speed I could really push when removing a lot of material. Also with belts, you have that uh, luxury of going a little faster, having a little faster acceleration, mainly because you have a lot less resolution compared to a ball screw machine. A Shape Oco 3 4 Pro has 40 steps per millimeter, where a HDM has 160 which is with its 1610 ball screws. This was a through flute quarter inch, by the way, running uh, quarter inch step down with a optimal load which is a radial depth of cut of 15 thou so light and fast let's look at the force plot real quick for that removing 1.13 cubic inches per minute which is pretty respectable for any desktop machine power putting down almost 300 watts let's look at the HDM adaptive actually I didn't use adaptive I used pocket because with this tool and the, the rigidity of the machine I could take a decent step down and a full width of cut, which was really nice. I ran this tool at 20,000 RPM, 156 inches per minute, and that is a half inch two flute with a step down of 40 thou. And like I said, the pocket does a maximum step over of 100% tool and it handled that no problem. Now let's look at the force chart for that. As you see, much smoother, mainly due to the high step over and 3.12 cubic inches per minute with an estimated power of a little under a thousand watts in the cut. Now that is 2.64 times the MMR of the modified S3. So realistically, I would tell you guys the HDM is at least twice as strong as any machine that Carbide 3D has ever made. Now I need to go back to the Pro that we have and really push it, but man, it's so different. A router at 30,000 RPM just screaming at max speed compared to the HDM spindle at 24 is just night and day. So there you go, folks. That's my little uh, short spiel on the comparison and you know, I'll get back into it and get a little bit more in depth in the full video. So hopefully look out for that and uh, yeah, let's make some chips.